UK, Italy and Japan are jointly developing a sixth-generation fighter jet under the project name Global Combat Air Program, and the plan is to have a fighter jet ready by 2035 under the banner of UK's Team Tempest. After India pulled out of the FGFA program with Russia, India was offered to be part of Team Tempest in 2018, UK held talks with India on joining the coalition. The FGFA was supposed to be a learning curve so that it could help India develop its AMCA stealth fighter jet, and joining the Tempest could have resolved two issues for India, first is a reliable next-generation modular engine for its AMCA program, and it could also have acted as a fail-safe mechanism in case the AMCA program faces any delays. France is working on a hypersonic air-launched cruise missile, that will be equipped on its Rafale F-5 standard, that will give it the capability for the suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses. France has offered the Rafale F-4 standard to India under the MRFA program, that will have the ability to carry new weaponry such as Meteor RNG and Mica NG variant and 1000 kg variant of Hammer, but it will also carry the hypersonic air-launched cruise missile, as the missile will be backward compatible to both Rafale F-3R and F-4 standard, that has high chances of being procured under MRFA tender. As the three Indian armed services are finalizing the numbers of MQ-9B drones to buy from the US, there are reports that the final order could be for 20 drones. As per latest information, the Indian Navy has also extended its two-year lease of two Sea Guardian drones until mid-2024. The DRDO has started work on a new variant of the Rudramanti radiation guided missile, that can be launched from marine fighter jets, and identify locate and effectively engage critical air defense targets. The new variant will be fitted with a modified seeker, that will have the ability to engage moving maritime targets. Indian Air Force's aircraft and systems testing establishment is often called a flying lab, that is used to test airborne systems designed and developed by agencies such as DRDO, will now be open to private industry, that might want to test air-launched cruise missiles and air-launched drone systems developed for the Indian Air Force or for export purposes. These systems will be tested and validated by aircraft and systems testing establishment, and if those systems are not put into production in India, the AST certification will help private firms market their systems internationally. The DRDO and Indian Army have conducted a surface-to-surface -surface extended range flight testing of the Pinaka Mark I enhanced rocket system at the Pokhran firing range. The EPRS is an improved version of the Pinaka variant, that has been enhanced with advanced technologies to meet emerging requirements. The EPRS is now cleared for user trials and production, and will be offered for export to friendly nations. The Defense Secretary visited the facilities of Bharat Dynamics Limited, where he was apprised of ongoing production activities, and new initiatives being taken by the company. Interestingly, in one of the pictures an Akash NG missile was seen at the radar frequency testing facility. The Akash NG missile system was flagged off by Electron Pneumatics and Hydraulics Private Limited at the Defence Expo 2022, and apart from Indian Army and the Indian Air Force, Vietnam has expressed keen interest in the system.